Welcome to Yesu Mafra Downfall. It's a great and exciting channel. Hack, 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 while infant voices sing. Hack, 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 while infant voices sing. Loud, loud, Hosanna is loud. Loud, Hosanna is loud. Loud, Hosanna is to our King. Hello, God. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Yesu Mofra Danfo. I'm Auntie Arajwa and it's always such a great, great joy to be in your homes or wherever you find yourself. Guys, guess what? Yesu Mofra Danfo is four years old. Yes, one, two, three, four. Now, the celebration of every Palm Sunday is the celebration of the anniversary of Yesu Mofra Danfo. Yesu Mofra Danfo commenced some four years ago on a Palm Sunday and we are truly grateful to God for his faithfulness and for his goodness towards us as a family and for you as well for always being part for always tuning in every weekend to listen to the word of God God bless you guys how has your week been and how are you going to celebrate the Palm Sunday now Palm Sunday is the celebration or is the remembrance of Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem where the children held palm fronds and palm branches and Jesus sat on a donkey and the women laid their dresses and their clothes on the floor for Jesus to step on as he entered into Jerusalem. It reminds us of his death, his resurrection and one day he's going to return. Guys, today's story is going to be amazing and I can't wait to share with you. Stay tuned, we'll be right back after the song. <music> For this month philippians chapter 4 verse 8 finally brethren whatsoever things are true whatsoever things are honest whatsoever things are just whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are lovely whatsoever things are of good report if there be any virtue and if there be any praise think on these things amen now in our Ghanaian language asante chi filipo formo ma ete nai ichiche mu wochi afe die die chi inyano die ye no kre die nim ye dru 
dear tene, dear hauntie, dear wall door, dear wooding pa, se obra pa bi wo ho a, se aye ye bi wo ho a, san yo ma yi hon na monyeni. Amen. Welcome back guys. So today's lesson promises to be very interesting and very engaging. It is not about the Palm Sunday or Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem. The Bible says that your word have I hidden in my heart so that I will not sin against you. So the more we learn the word of God, the more it prevents us from doing bad, bad, bad things. Now get your Bibles ready. Get your super books ready like mine is here and I'm super duper ready for today's Bible story. Our Bible story for today is titled Paul visits Macedonia. You know that Paul from last week's lesson went to a certain place to preach the word of the Lord. Now in the book of Acts is about the apostles, the disciples moving from city to city and from town to town sharing the word of the Lord. And in today's lesson, Paul moved from one town to the other sharing the word of the Lord. How did he end up at Macedonia? What was he doing there? And who asked him to go there? And our scripture text taken from the book of Acts chapter 16 verse 6 to 10. Let's have our Bible story for today. Lessons from our Bible story. Recap of last week's lesson. Barnabas encourages Saul and the church. Guys, we learned that. Barnabas, whose name means son of encouragement, defended Saul before the believers and encouraged the church to hold on to the faith no matter what they went through. And it was at Antioch that the believers were first called Christians, meaning just like Christ. The apostles lived your lives just like Jesus. Are you like Jesus? Do you talk, walk and live like Jesus? In today's story, Paul visits Macedonia. Paul and his companions traveled throughout the region of Phrygia and Galatia, having been kept by the Holy Spirit from preaching the word in the province of Asia. When they came to the border of Mysia, they tried to enter Bithynia, but the Spirit of Jesus would not allow them to. So they passed by Mysia and went down to Troas. During the night, Paul had a vision of a man of Macedonia standing and begging him, Come over to Macedonia and help us. After Paul had seen the vision, we got ready at once to leave for Macedonia, concluding that God had called us to preach the gospel to them. Guys, Paul was a strict follower of Jesus. He never did anything on his own accord. Paul journeyed across many cities and towns, declaring the word of the Lord to the believers. The Holy Spirit prevented Paul from preaching the word of God in the province of Asia. Paul never questioned the Holy Spirit. He trusted the Holy Spirit. He had a personal fellowship with the Holy Spirit. He trusted that the Holy Spirit is God and knows all things. The Holy Spirit knew why he didn't want them to go into that province. Guys, do you sometimes receive promptings from the Holy Spirit? Have you ever had plans and they got cancelled or changed? Guys, the Holy Spirit knows all things. He sees what we do not see out of us. Every time he changes our plans, he always has a better plan for us. The Holy Spirit directed Paul and his team to Mysia and Troas. And there he had a vision of a man of Macedonia begging him to come over to Macedonia to help him. The Holy Spirit speaks to us in various forms. Sometimes through a still small voice to show us the will of God. Sometimes through visions and dreams. Like the case of Paul who was also known as Saul. It was through a vision. Do you dream? And do you even remember them when you dream? When was the last time he had a dream? How does God get your attention? Guys, when Paul had the dream, he never questioned what it meant. He just obeyed it immediately and went over to Macedonia to visit the believers there and help them as the Holy Spirit directed him. Guys, are you a helper? Do you help people when they call out for your help? especially people who are close to you and you know them. Now let's look at some three important things that Paul did in his life as a Christian to be ready for the leading of the Holy Spirit at all times. One, pray to keep your heart and mind on God. 
I know you all know how to pray. Prayer is communication with God, talking to God. When we pray, we are more alert to what God is doing each day. Do you have a special time or place where you pray? Number two, remember. Remember the stories and the promises from the Bible, especially the ones we learn from here at Yesu Mofradamfo. They will show you the kinds of things the Holy Spirit might lead you to do, such as helping others, forgiving others, telling others about Jesus and praying. And number three, stay near other believers when you can. Just like the church in those times, they always stay together and that is why they invited Paul over to strengthen them and to help them. Spend some time with friends and family who believe in Jesus with the Holy Spirit in your heart. They can remind you of the way he wants you to go. Do you have any friends or family members that help you remember to do what is right in God's eyes? Guys, with this, I know that the Lord would help us, the Holy Spirit will lead us, and we are going to be obedient to the voice of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. We spoke to Jesus today. Remember that Jesus lives in your heart. He's at all places at the same time. And he has so, so, so much to talk to you and you and you. You know, the more we talk to Jesus, the more we tell him that, look, Jesus, I trust you. I commit my ways to you. So lead me. Show me where to go and show me where not to go like he did for Paul. Now, shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for the gift of life. We even thank you for years to more down for that, for bringing us this far. We are four years. And we are so grateful. Father, even as you led Paul to Macedonia to share the word of the Lord, Father, lead us at all times. Prevent our feet from doing evil. Direct us, O Holy Spirit, to always do the right thing. Like you caused Paul to go to the right place to teach the people the word of the Lord. Even as we go through our Jesus, sweet Holy Spirit, lead us and guide us in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us to be sensitive to your promptings. We know that you are always speaking. Help us to hear you when you talk to us so that I'll be able to do the right thing in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for our parents, our mummies, and our daddies. Continue to preserve them. Bless the works of their hands. Bless their hands that whatever they touch shall be fruitful in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, thank you for hearing us. In Jesus' name, amen. Hi, buddy. Please say this prayer after me to invite Jesus into your heart and life. Dear Lord Jesus, I surrender my life to you today. Forgive me my sins. Wash me with your blood. I receive you as my Lord and personal Savior. Please write my name in the book of life. Now I declare Jesus is Lord. Amen. My dear friend, you are now born again. Hallelujah. Are you standing on? I'm standing on the Lord's side. Whose side are you standing on? I'm standing on the Lord's side. Standing, 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 standing on the Lord's side. Whose side are you clapping on? I'm clapping on the Lord's side. Whose side are you clapping on? I'm clapping on the Lord's side. Clapping, 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 clapping on the Lord's side. Clapping, 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 clapping. Clapping on the Lord's side. Somebody will say that, oh, after all, Paul was going to share the word of God. So he can go anywhere to share the word of God. No, 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 no. As Christians, we are always led by the Holy Spirit to do what we are supposed to do. Because we do not know what is ahead of us. But the Holy Spirit knows all things. That is why it is important to pray and ask for the leading of the Holy Spirit in all that we do. Guys, I trust you enjoyed today's lesson and you learned something new. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below if you haven't done that. And don't forget to share and share with your friends, with your aunties, with your uncles. And let them know about Yesu Mofra downfall. And always remember that Jesus is preparing the beautiful and the magnificent new jerusalem for you and i so we need to be good boys and good girls so that we can be in that place remember that i will be there at new jerusalem and when i'm there i'm going to ask of you and you and you and you god bless you so much for tuning in today and i'll see you next time once so then bye bye subscribe like and share thank you for watching god bless you
Yesu, my friend, down for.